Hey guys, welcome back to Sticks and Stories. Today we have the Ashton VSG for you. That's the Virgin Sun Grown. It is a Ecuador Sumatra wrapper with a Dominican binder and fillers. It's pretty oily dark wrapper if you can see in the video, which you probably can't because it's very cloudy out today. But it's a five by five and three quarters, excuse me, by 46 ring gauge. So it's very comfortable. It's nice in the hand. It's a Corona Gorda. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm into it a little bit for you guys because I just wanted to get a taste of it before we hit up the Eagle Rare and the pairing with that. Just thought that'd be a good idea with the dark wrapper. And then the lighter fillers, it kind of gives off this little bit of a sandalwood thing. I wanted to match the oakiness of the Eagle Rare, but it's also very sweet versus the darkness of this wrapper. Um, and I think it's going to pair very well. I just don't want to hit the spirit before we get a good taste on this because i don't want to be biased as far as not pairing other cigars in the channel previously with it so let me get into this first third a little bit let's do the pairing and let's see what this cigar starts right, guys about. pretty well and into the second third here we grabbed our we got a poor eagle rare today in our little buffalo trace glen karen that's fun but the cigar is good guys it's it's very full flavored which is actually a little bit much for me right now which speaks zero volumes about the cigar itself that's how it was designed to be of course over the past three or four months you guys know if you've been here since the beginning my palate is always if it's not a nicaraguan puro or nicaraguan based then i don't want it and that's just not how i am these days it's it's over the last few months and i think this happens to a lot of cigar smokers when they go from from kind of the more of the the medium range to to heading towards the connoisseur level really of palate development for myself as far as heading towards something really more medium these days uh looking for more subtle like not hidden but a little bit more downplayed flavors opposed to smack you in the face nicaraguan puro tobacco so this is a little bit full flavored for me lately um i've been enjoying something a lot more along the lines of you guys know i love that davidoff Winston Churchill late hour. I've been really heading towards just the classic Winston Churchill smokes like that. Um, that's a great example of what I've been enjoying. I've also been dipping into my stash of Cubans a little bit more than I should be because I've just, that flavor profile is a home run for me right now. Absolutely delicious as always. Um, but let's see what we got. Absolutely delicious guys. My thought process here that I was surprised about was that I thought with that light sandalwood, it would be suppressed a little bit by this spirit. And at the end of the day, they actually kind of enhanced each other. They almost went for more of like a double oaked flavor. It kind of doubled down on that, which it's complementing that leather. It's really coming across as that vanilla complements that earthy leather taste. It's absolutely delicious. I recommend the pairing so far. My thoughts on that are... I just think there's a little bit of that note. It's not really that cinnamon, oaty bread note, but it's definitely just this delicious chocolate wood. The spirit brings the vanilla with another added wood to it with the sweet, definitely complementing that dark oily wrapper. I think the sweetness brings a lot to the table here. Um, and it, it's really good, guys. It's really good so far. I don't have a bad thing to say about the cigar. Very consistent so far. The burn's perfect. I only touched it up a little bit because I'm a stickler, but we're not going to hit any points on that because it really didn't need it. I think that was just from me taking my time, making sure it didn't get overheated with it, that I just didn't give it quite enough attention. You know, I'm playing some Frisbee with the boys, the usual. So we're going to keep heading into it, and it's it's really good so far. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here today. Um we got a little bit of the cigar left, you'll notice. So there's a good three inches of the cigar left. and It was a little bit of a beefier smoke than I tend to smoke in the backyard these days. If I'm with friends and we're sitting and we're in no hurry, or we're on the golf course or any of the above, I'm grabbing a Toro. But you know I'm usually a Robusto guy. Maybe even a Petite Bellicoso sometimes is a preferred Vitolo lately. I'm a big guy on the fact, that, and I love other reviewers who just say, if you're not enjoying your cigar, put it out. Because I'm the same way. If you're not enjoying it, put it out. If it's not for you, put it out. Any of the above. That's not the case here. The case is this, and, and you know, every time I do a review, I'm, I'm, oh, I highly recommend it, the whole nine yards. 
I guys, I highly recommend this. I just don't highly recommend it for a new smoker. This is in the ballpark with the La Flor Dominicana Double E Ghetto. It's in the ballpark with the Winston Churchill Late Hour. I, I want to say it's in the ballpark with the Padron 1926 or something like that, but the 1926 doesn't have this super straightforward once you get 75% through the cigar. This is leather. This is leather dominant. It's not even really peppery or anything like that. It's leather. It's a little bit of earth. And it's full-blown, full pedal to the metal smoke right now. So, did I not enjoy it? Does it get a bad score or something? Of course not. It's just I'm not going to finish it if I don't want to finish it. And that's where I'm at right now. So, I'm going to smoke another inch or two of it. And I really liked it. And I really recommend it to people. I don't want to see you give this to your buddy and have to pick him up off the floor looking white as a ghost with a cold glass of water for the next hour. So, let's not do that. But, what are we looking at for the pairing, guys? Guys, the pairing was absolutely a home run. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's the first pairing with a whiskey. Um, still figuring out what I want to do. That's kind of nice with the power of what do I want to do with the channel. Haven't really decided yet. But that pairing was awesome. Guys, the dark leather earth mixed with the Eagle Rare. It's a lower proof. It's, I think, 90.4 in that range. The sweetness of the spirit itself. The vanilla really came through. The wood kind of enhanced each other. That was a playful thing that I didn't expect. Kind of almost headed towards a Woodruff Reserve double oaked kind of flavor if i was to do a far more mild cigar i think i would go towards a higher proof bright fruit instead of a sweet kind of whiskey um, maybe a knob creek 12 year an old forester 1920 something like that i think would pair with something lighter but here i think that was awesome i think it was really balanced between the sweet and the, the leather notes um, kind of dark versus light really really mixed well so that was awesome i hope you guys enjoyed the uh the balance of it and as far as the rating on this cigar guys it was complex as far as the couple of flavors it had that was my problem with it i think it was extremely extremely start to finish balanced but i i did want a little bit more out of it i'm not gonna lie i wanted a couple more flavors in there things like that the burn was perfect the smoke output was absolutely beautiful um, I think I'm going to put that cigar, ah, man, it's kind of a top of the line as far as the Ashton line goes towards the top of the line. I think all day long it's fair at 88 points. That's where I'm going to be with it. Um, like I said, it's not a beginner smoke, but it's certainly a great smoke. I think it was a smoke for while you're doing something, while you're playing poker with the friends, while you're out golfing or something. Um, if you gave it a little less attention and didn't just try to go for the whole smoke, it would be a little bit more enjoyable that way. Um, but I don't really have a bad thing to say about it, guys. It was a good cigar. I'll come back to it in the future. Uh, like I said, it's up there with the, the Double Ligero, the Late Hour, things like that. It, it just It's meant to be respected a little bit. Um, 88 points on it, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to doing it again and appreciate your patience again through a little bit of the break from the channel we took and appreciate you being here. See you next time on Sticks and Stories.